the skeletal system, understanding the framework of the human body. What if humans had no bones? What would happen if you didn't have a skeleton is shown? Name at least three things you can and cannot do if you have no bones. Today you will be able to understand the major components of the human skeletal system, explain the functions of the skeleton, identify specific bones and their roles in the body. Did you know babies are born with about 300 bones, but adults only end up with 206? Some bones fuse as we grow. The skeletal system it serves as a framework for a human body. It comprises bones and connective tissues including cartilage, tendons and ligaments. Bones are living tissues with blood supply. They constantly change and remodel as humans grow. Naming the human bones, can you try to point out which bones the listed names refer to? Try to do it your own without looking at other resources and see how many you can identify. Did you know that bones also serve as storehouses for two minerals, calcium and phosphorus? These minerals are essential for nerves and cells to function properly. Here's the answer key. You can check your answers too. Types of bones. Bones are classified according to their shape. Femur, long bone. Cylindrical in shape acts as a lever and helps support the weight of the body. Carpal bone, short bone, a small and compact design for strength and stability. A scapula, flat bone, has a flat surface, serves as a protector and a point or muscle attachment. Vertebrae, irregular bone, has a complex shape, has a variety of functions such as protection and providing support. Lesson 10 point, name the bones below, what types of the bones are they and what are their primary functions. Remember, that human bones are grouped according to their shape with the main types being flat, irregular, short and long bone. A sternum, flat, protection of heart and lungs, bowels, irregular, attachment of muscles, tibia, long, V, peering. Functions of the skeleton, support, it gives shape and support to the body. The spine, for example, helps human maintain an upright position. The spine of an average adult is made up of 36 bones. 24 individual vertebrae, sacrum, oxygen. Protection. Bones protect our internal organs. For example, the skull, protects our brain while the ribcage safeguards the heart and lungs. The human skull consists of 32 bones fused together. These bones cannot move except for the mandible lower jaw. Movement Bones team up with joints and muscles to allow movement. And muscles contract the pull on the bones and enabling people to walk, run, jump and engage in various activities. Bones in the elbows and knees are joined with flexible joints. These joints allow the bones to glide, swing or rotate. Producing blood cells. Red and white blood cells are produced in the bone marrow. 
soft, spongy material in the whole center of a person's bone. In adults, most blood cells are produced in the spine, hips, ribs, and breastbone. Blood cell production in children, however, takes place in the long bones like the femur. Bones and beyond. Choose one bone among all that you have learned today. What makes this bone unique and what is its role in the human body? Share your answers with the seatmate and prepare to discuss them in class. A recap. The human skeleton it serves as a framework for the body. It is comprised of bones and connective tissues. Types of bones. Bones in the human body are grouped as a long, sharp, flat, and irregular. Functions of the skeleton. The skeleton system supports the body, protects organs, allows movement, and produces red blood cells. I hope you love to learn about the skeletal system. Studio.